so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! It's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at the All England Lawn, Tennis, and Croquet Club, where the Wimbledon Tennis Championships are played. <laughs> yeah, and right now, we're here on a tennis court at Wimbledon! <laughs> well, and you might be noticing, I'm not in my normal orange and blue, I'm in all white, because when you're on a tennis court at Wimbledon, you need to wear white. <laughs> It's so fun being here. And there are some pretty amazing tennis players and coaches, but there are all kinds of important jobs that need to be done around the tennis court. Hey, maybe we can meet some of those people who do those important jobs. Okay, here we go. Woohoo! Oh, hey, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, Blippi. I'm Conrad. Well, it's nice to meet you, Conrad. Whoa, and Conrad, what is this? So this is my battery-powered mower that helps cut the grass. Whoa, so what is it you do here? You help to mow the grass? Yeah, so I'm part of the ground staff team, and we look after all the grass tennis courts here. Whoa, a groundskeeper at Wimbledon? Whoa, and this is one cool lawnmower. Yeah, and you said it was battery-powered? It is battery-powered. That's battery right here. Whoa, look, you have a big battery, and it looks like a lot of other parts, too. Yeah, normally I've seen lawnmowers that use gasoline, but this is much better for the environment because it's electric. <laughs> That's correct. Whoa, and what else is it that you do here? So other than mowing the courts, we also paint the white lines. Whoa, that's really important so that the players all have an even, nice straight white line so they can play their matches. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Oh, well, thanks for teaching me a little bit about your job. No worries, baby. What I've been doing is actually cutting the court to eight millimeters. Eight millimeters? Whoops. So it's all the exact same height? Yep, all the blades of grass are the same height. Whoa, well, why does it need to be eight millimeters? That's so short. <laughs> well, we found that's the best level for players. Whoa, so it helps the game, make sure that the ball's bouncing the same. So they're used to how the game will be played and there's no surprises. <laughs> well, no surprises from the grass, at least. No, at least. <laughs> oh, well, is there any way maybe I could help you as a groundskeeper? Well, actually, Blippi, we have 54 million blades of grass here. Oh, that's so a lot. <laughs> if you can, can you go around and check to see if you can find any out of place? Oh, okay, 54 million blades of grass. I need to measure every single one and make sure there are no too tall blades. <laughs> okay, that sounds like a perfect job for Inspector Blippi. He's on the case. Woo! <laughs> Thanks, Conrad. <laughs> to the kitchen. Well, I'm really in the mood for a snack. <laughs> and the kitchen is the best place to find a snack. But since I don't work in the kitchen, you better find someone to help us. Oh, hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, Blippi. I'm Chef Adam. Oh, Chef Adam. I was hoping to get a snack. Do you think you could teach me how to make one? Absolutely. So we have some strawberries here and some cream. Whoa, strawberries and cream. I hear that's very popular here at Wimbledon. Absolutely. <laughs> it's one of the most popular. Oh, <laughs> great. Well, before we make strawberries and cream, what should we do first? OK, so first job is we always wash our hands. OK, time to wash our hands. Oh, that was fun. Well, now that we have clean hands, I think we can start. Okay, so first job. So we have the strawberries here. Okay. And then most importantly, you get the spoon as well. Whoa, check it out. It's a little spoon. <laughs> but I don't think this is the spoon you want to eat cereal with. It's so small. Ooh. <laughs> it's so teeny. <laughs> so what do we do with the little spoon? So we take the spoon and we're going to take the, the green parts off the strawberry. And okay. that's called hulling a strawberry. Hulling the strawberry. Well, can you, do you mind showing me? I can show you one. So we're just going to put the spoon in. Whoa. And we're going to take the green piece off and then we can put that aside there. Well, yeah. So you take a strawberry like this and... That's right. See if I'm doing it right. <laughs> there we go. And just scoop off the top, just like you're taking off this top hat. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, look. 
we hold the strawberry. No eating yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna put the finished strawberries in there. So should we carry on and do some more? Yeah, let's do some more. Okay, here we go. I'll grab some more strawberries and keep on holding the strawberry. Whoa, yeah. This is a really nice way to take off the top with a spoon. Mm, there we go. <laughs> oh, and Chef Adam, there are a lot of strawberries here. Where are these strawberries from? So these strawberries, they're from Kent, which is 31.5 miles just down the road from us. Whoa, that's amazing. You know, I heard that there are 49,942 kilos of Kentish strawberries that come to Wimbledon every year. That's as heavy as eight African elephants. A lot of strawberries but i don't think we're gonna eat that many strawberries no, today <laughs> that would be too many <laughs> i think i would turn into a strawberry okay here you go and i think we have enough so i think we've definitely got enough <laughs> okay good <laughs> so the next part we do is if you want to pass me another container okay here we go amazing and then most importantly every portion of strawberries gets 10 strawberries in a portion okay 10 strawberries will you count out 10 strawberries with us Okay, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ah, ten strawberries! Oh, they look so yummy! <laughs> well, are we finished? We're not finished just yet. We've okay. got some cream to put on top. Whoa, look! We have some yummy cream here and our strawberries, but since you are the chef, Chef Adam. Why don't you do the finishing touch? Thank you. Okay. And then you're just gonna pour a little bit over the top. Whoa, check it out! Whoa, that looks so yummy! Huh, I can't wait to taste it. I wonder how it will taste. Maybe sweet and crunchy? <laughs> Aw, well, thank you so much for helping me make strawberries and cream, Chef Adam. Thank you, Blippi. <laughs> I'll see you later, bye-bye! See you later, Blippi, bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, making that snack with Chef Adam was so fun. But now it's time for the best part, tasting it. Yum. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna take a seat. Oh, I can't wait to taste all these strawberries and cream. Hmm, what do you think they'll taste like? Do you think they'll be sour? <laughs> or maybe spicy? <laughs> nah, I think they are going to be really sweet. Yum! Whoa, that's so tasty. Hmm, I'm gonna eat some more. Yum! Whoa, those strawberries are so tasty. In fact, they taste so good that I want to do a strawberry dance. Well, I'm having such a fun day, enjoying some tasty snacks, enjoying the sun rains, and even dancing on the grass. On the grass. On the grass. <gasps> oh, on the grass. I completely forgot to be inspecting the grass on all the tennis courts. Oh, Inspector Blippi back on the case. <laughs> good view from up here. And look at what else is here. Huh. We have some screens and some headphones and a microphone and a computer. Wait a minute, I know what this room is. It's a commentary box. Yeah, this is where sports commentators sit to watch the game. Yeah, and a commentator's job is to watch the game and to explain things that happen. They tell you what the score is, and they explain things if you can't see that little tennis ball from really far away. <laughs> they also like to make everyone really excited. Woo here we go, go team, go. <laughs> yeah, 
It's really fun being a commentator. Yeah, wait a minute. I think I see two players going to the court. What if we were a commentator? Yes, a tennis sports commentator from the year a really long time ago. <laughs> Here we go. It looks like we see Tabs and Debo coming up on the court. Here they go. Who's going to win this match? Debo serves. Tabs returns. Poof. They go back and forth. Back and forth they go. And it seems like Debo is the winner. <laughs> that was silly. <laughs> yeah, it's fun being a commentator. It's really fun watching the game from up here. You can see so many people sitting in their seats. And you can see the entire tennis court. You can see all of the grass. The grass. The grass. <gasps> you can see all of the grass. We need to go back and do our job. Inspector Blippi, here we go. finished. Oh, I can't believe we inspected 54 million blades of grass. Oh, good thing I'm a fast counter. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. I'm going to go catch a tennis match. Woo! It's me, Flippy. Whoa, and check it out. <laughs> Look at all the fluffy stuffing. Yeah, this is the stuff they put inside a furry friend. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and today I'm here at Build a Bear Workshop in Culver City, California. Woohoo! Yeah! And I'm going to make my very own furry friend. And I can do everything all by myself. Well, except put in the fluffy stuffing because I don't want to make a mess. Oh, 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 looks like I made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> well, we better clean up before I start making my furry friend, Charlotte and Nathan. Can you help me out? Sure, Libby. Okay, but first, it's time for a fluffy dance party. Woo! You and I are buddies together, whatever the Play together all the time And it's because you are my buddy That I want to laugh and smile I want the whole wide world to see That you're the best buddy that ever could be for helping me clean up. You're welcome, Blippi. We'll take care of this. <laughs> okay, see you later. <laughs> wow, now it's time for us to make our very own furry friend. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look at all of our furry friends. <laughs> I can't wait to build one today. <laughs> Look, there's even <laughs> an axolotl. Hello, Blippi. <laughs> oh, I bet you love the water. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's a funny one. Whoa, and look, there's even this kind of animal. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, <laughs> it's a kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> oh, and do you notice anything special about this kitty cat? Yeah, it has two different colors for eyes, yeah. A yellow eye and a blue eye. Aww, <laughs> I think your eyes look so pretty, little kitty cat. <laughs> Aww. Whoa, and look, it's a bull. Hello, Blippi, I'm Mr. Bull. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Bull. I like your horns. <laughs> Thank you, Blippi. Here's a golden heart for being my friend. Aw, thanks, Mr. Bull. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> You're welcome, Blippi. Bye-bye. Bye, Mr. Bull. 
Do you see what I see? It's a dinosaur! Yeah! Check it out! Yeah! It looks like a red and yellow raptor! Whoa! Whoa, that would be one fun furry friend to make! Oh, look at this! Yeah! Look, it's a fuzzy bear! Wait a minute! I bet Nathan and Charlotte would love a bear! Yeah! So cute and soft. I know. Let's build a bear today. Yeah, we can build two bears for our friends. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One bear and two bears. But hmm, I don't think they're done yet. <laughs> Let's add some special things to make them all done. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look at all of these. These are scents that you can put in your bear to make them have different smells. <laughs> Whoa. And there are certainly a lot of smells here. Hmm. Which smell should we use? Oh, I know. Let's play a game. I'll give you a clue and you can guess the smell. Okay. Smell number one. <sighs> it's red and small <laughs> and really tasty, especially on ice cream. Yeah, that's right. It's Strawberry! Whoa! <laughs> we could add strawberry. Oh, here's another smell. It's colorful, and you could probably get it at the fair. Oh, and it's really wispy and sweet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's cotton candy! Yum! <laughs> okay, this is the third scent. Let's see if you can guess it. Hmm. So this smell mm, is from something that you chew and 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 chew. Yeah, that's right. It's bubble gum. That's silly. Whoa, whoa. And the last smell. Let's see if you can guess it. This is something that you eat once a year for a very special party. <laughs> oh, and you put candles in it. Yeah, that's right. It's a birthday cake. Whoa, look, birthday cake. Whoa, <laughs> well, those are all really good smells. I wonder which scent we should add to the bears. Huh. Oh, oh, it's Nathan and Charlotte. Don't tell them we're making these bears. I want the gift to be a surprise. <laughs> okay. Shh. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Nathan. I'm just over here picking some scents. Ooh, uh, which scent is your favorite? Strawberry. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it smells so delicious and sweet. Oh, thanks for helping me make a decision. You're welcome, Blippi. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, and look, there are also some sounds here, so we can pick which one goes into our furry friend. <laughs> oh, hey, what if we play a game? Sure. Uh, I'll act out the sound, and then you can guess which one it is. <laughs> that sounds fun. Oh, good. It could be holiday bells, or it could be an animal sound, or it could even be a heartbeat. <laughs> okay, here, let's see which this first one is going to be. Ooh, okay. The first one looks like this. Are you a rabbit? Or a kangaroo? <laughs> Close. <Whoa>. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> oh, you're a frog. Yeah, I'm a frog. <laughs> Ooh, can you ribbit like a frog with us? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. ribbit. <laughs> Silly. Oh, okay. Here. How about this one? <laughs> this one looks like this. Are you a bear? <laughs> You're a dinosaur! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's silly. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't notice this sound over here. Do you know what animal makes that sound? <laughs> oh, Nathan, do you know what animal makes that sound? Yeah, it's a cow. That's a funny sound. Oh, <laughs> oh that's pretty silly. Oh, hey, do you think I should put the cow sound or a heartbeat in the bear? I like the cow, but 
I think it would be really cute if your bear had its own heartbeat weapon. Aw, that would be cute. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I'll put the heartbeat in and add my scent. <laughs> okay, see you soon. I need to put some fluffy stuffing in the bear. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, Blippi. Bye. Hello there. <laughs> I'm, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hello, my name's Nikki. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. Nice to meet you. Well, I've been building some bears, but I think they're missing their fluffy stuffing. Uh, could you help me? Yeah, of course. Can I see your bears? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I tried earlier, but I made a bit of a mess with all the it's stuffing. It's okay, it happens all the time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sit over here. Can you be my friend and help me out and step on the pedal for Ooh, me? Okay, are, uh, are you sure about me helping? It'll totally be fine. Don't worry, just follow my lead. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll help you out. <laughs> okay, how do you want your bears, Blippi? Do you want them soft or do you want them big and strong? Hmm, I think, uh, let's make them soft. <laughs> let's make them soft? Okay, go okay. ahead and step on that pedal for me. Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it go! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Thanks, Nikki. You're gonna have to do a field test for me, okay? Okay. Can you go ahead and give your friend a big hug? Let oh. me know, is that soft enough? Okay, let's see. Oh, perfect. Perfect softness. Oh, perfect. Okay, one okay. bear. We have one bear down. Now we have to do your other furry friend. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's make this one nice and soft too. <laughs> go ahead and step on that pedal for me, my friend. Okay, here we go. Woo! Yeah! Go ahead and step off that pedal. Whoa! <laughs> okay, and can we go, ooh, ooh. can we go ahead and give my friend another hug? Let me know, is that one soft? Okay, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, nice and soft. Oh, Nathan and Charlotte are gonna love these bears. Oh, Perfect. thank you. So we have our bears, but then, uh, hmm. I feel like they're missing something. Yeah, we have, oh, I almost forgot, the strawberry smell. Ooh. <laughs> Can we put these in? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. Let's open them up and see how they smell. Whoa! Whoa, they're so strawberry! <laughs> Yum! Okay. okay, and now we just rub them on their faces. Rub it on their nose and on their tummies, Aww. on their toes. Strawberry toes! <laughs> Can't forget the ears. And then we're gonna rub it on our back. And poop. And they're gone, just like magic. Uh-oh, uh <laughs> I rubbed it on my nose. No, I smell like strawberries. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. oh, we better not forget the bear too. Here we go. Nose and tummy and ears Woo. and toes. Woo! <laughs> hmm. Strawberry bear and strawberry flippy. <laughs> okay, and do we just put it right in the back? Yep. And boop, it's gone like magic. <laughs> Whoa, magic! And I see we have some sound chips here. Yeah, so we have two heartbeats for our little bears. Okay, can you go ahead and put them? Yeah, put them right in there like that. Okay, one heartbeat and two heartbeats. Okay, Aww. perfect. Now we're almost done, but we do need to do something called a heart ceremony. A heart ceremony? Wait, yeah. do we need these hearts? Yeah, can we go ahead and pick out a heart? Yeah, how about these two? We need to pick out two. Okay, two red okay. hearts. Cool, <laughs> I'm gonna grab a heart too. Okay. And I'm gonna set your furry friends down right here. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to do the heart ceremony. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go ahead and follow my lead, okay? okay? We're gonna rub our hands together. Okay, you can follow along at home too. Are you ready? Here we go. We're warming these hearts up. We're gonna go tap, tap, tap to get this heart beating. <laughs> this is fun. We're gonna rub our heart on our toes. So okay. our hands are totally awesome. Whoa, toes, two toes. <laughs> rub it on our head so your friends are smart just like you. Rub it on our side so it's always by our friend's side. And then we're gonna take our heart, hold it by our heart. Close our eyes and make a super duper big whiff. <sighs> okay, good. Cool, and now we're gonna go ahead and give it a kiss. Okay, give it a kiss. Aww. <laughs> Perfect. And now we're gonna go ahead and put our hearts in our bears. Whoa. Okay, and we'll put it in just like the smell and the sound? Yep. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Perfect. Whoa, check it out. Your here. friend's almost ready to go home with you now. I just need a Aw, thanks, Nikki. <laughs> and thanks for helping us learn how to do the heart ceremony. Woohoo! Whoa! 
Oh, check it out, we did it! We finished the bears. Well, we almost finished the bears. Yeah, now we get to pick out their cool outfits. <laughs> yeah, it's time to have fun with style. <laughs> and to get in the mood to be the best blippy stylist ever, let's do our style walk. <laughs> okay, let's pick out some outfits. Ooh, we can pick out this rainbow sparkly dress. <laughs> Looking good up there. Ooh, maybe even a pair of glasses. Oh, oh, there's so many things to choose. <laughs> oh, two red bow ties. Maybe those will look great. <laughs> okay, grab some of that. <laughs> it's so colorful. <sighs> okay, here we go. Grab all the things we need to make these bears look great. Okay, just a few more things. <laughs> here we go. <sighs> okay, I think we found some great options to dress our bears. <laughs> <sighs> well, I think I have too many things and there's even more on this wall. <laughs> we better get to work. Woo! They look so good. <laughs> I'm thinking I might have a career as a stylist. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Whoa, check out where we are! Yeah, this is where we get to name our bears! <laughs> yeah, and we get to get their birth certificate. Whoa! Yeah, a name is what someone calls you. My name is Flippy, because that's what people call me. <laughs> what do people call you? Aw, that's a great name. I think it really suits you. Oh, hi Charlotte, hi Nathan. <laughs> oh, you came just in time because I have a surprise for you two. <laughs> Three, two, one, surprise! Whoa! <laughs> Our own bears? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, well thank you for all of your help. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, Blippi, but actually, yeah, actually, we have a surprise for you as well. Oh, you do? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, two one. one, surprise! Whoa, check it out! Oh, this bear has my hat and glasses and bow tie and everything! Oh, I love it! Oh, thank you, too. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> thank you, Blippi. These are awesome! Yeah, thank you. You, Libby, I love my bear. Aw, me too. Oh, but now we should name our bears. Oh, what do you think your bears' names are? I think I'm gonna name mine Sunny. Oh, I like that name. And mine, Sparkle, because it's sparkly. Oh, that's a great name. Hmm, hmm, what should I name you? I have the perfect name. Fishy McFisherson. <laughs> yeah, it's very unique and totally not confusing at all. <laughs> Hello, Fishy McFisherson. That does not sound like a fish or a bear either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's why I like you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very nice to meet you too, Mr. Fishy McFisherson. <laughs> well, we have to go now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, but before you go, why don't we take a picture together? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Cheese! What are your two favorite colors? Mm. Oh, what was that? Wait, your favorite colors are my favorite colors? Blue and orange? Mm. No way! <laughs> We're the same! Yeah, that's awesome. Wait, do you also like excavators and dinosaurs? Mm. That's cool. <laughs> oh, hi, Nikki. Hi, Blippi. Here's your birth certificate for your furry friend. Whoa, look. It says, Fishy McFisherson. 16 inches, 7 ounces, brown and cream. <laughs> Just for you. Aw, thanks, Nikki, for all your help today. You're welcome, Blippi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, today was so much fun. We got to build fishy and have lots of fun with our friends. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey. Can you spell my name with me? 
Okay, here we go. Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon. Oh, what was that? Oh, I think we have time for one more picture. me, Blippi. Look at where I'm at. Yeah. Today, I'm at this beautiful pond, which is at Kualoa Ranch, which is on Oahu, which is an island of Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful place this is. And do you see this pond? They actually have a lot of oysters in here. Yeah, they farm oysters. Oh, oysters are really cool animals. Yeah, they're about this big, and then they have a shell, kind of like a turtle. Oh, look way out there. Looks like someone's working out there. Maybe we can go figure out how they farm oysters. <gasps> a boat, let's go. <laughs> cool, what a really radical boat. Whoa, and any time that you get in a boat, make sure you're with a grown up as well as you have a life preserver. And this one, you actually put your arms through. Cool. <laughs> All right, let me set that down. Whoa, this boat looks like so much fun. Whoa, and this is the throttle. And this tells you what gear you're in. All right, I should probably untie myself from the dock. So then we can head out to the barge and find out how oysters are farmed. All right, here we go. Look at that beautiful mountain. It is so tall. Whoa, and it's so nice being out on the water. Wow, <laughs> what a beautiful day it is today. Floating down the river, sailing on the sea, cruising on the ocean, boats are for me. I saw a boat pulling another, I didn't know the boat, so I asked my mother. She said, that's a tugboat, son. I saw a boat going faster and farther I didn't know the boat so I asked my father He said that's a speedboat son I saw a boat full of fishermen I saw a boat full of businessmen I saw a boat You know what it was doing Floating down the river Sailing on the sea, cruising on the ocean, boats are for me. I saw a boat transporting cargo, I didn't know the boat, so I asked my friend Marco. He said, that's a cargo ship. I saw a boat with planes on top, I didn't know the boat, so I asked my friend Rob. He said, that's an aircraft carrier. I saw a boat that was firefighting, I saw a boat that was bright as lightning. I saw a boat, you know what it was doing, floating down the river. Sailing down the sea, cruising on the ocean, boats are for me.
ocean boats are for me Floating down the river Sailing on the sea Cruising on the ocean Boats are for me Wow, this is so much fun! And I'm so excited to figure out how oysters are farmed. Oh, what are those? I wonder if that's where the oysters are. Oh, whoa, there's so many of them. Do you see those? Kind of looks like baskets or cages. Huh, I can't see any oysters though. I wonder if they'll know what these are at the barge. Let's go find out. Oh, cool! Hey, who are you? My name is Anthony. Nice to meet you. What do you do here? I'm the Kualoa Ranch Oyster Farm Manager. Oh, cool. Yeah, we knew these were here. We heard that you folks have oysters. What kind of oysters are these? These are Pacific oysters. Oh, really? Oh, they look so big. And those look so small. Can we check them out? Absolutely. Oh. So these are the seed. Okay. Ooh, seed. What does that mean? These are just the baby oysters. Okay, baby oysters. Yeah, they're not actually seeds, but you call them seeds when they're a baby. Whoa, cool. Can I hold them? Absolutely. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, yeah, they are pretty small. Ooh, look at this one. This one is so small. Whoa, and how big do they get? They get really big. So that's what the next basket is. Oh, okay. Can we you check put these out? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> cool. Whoa, and how long does it take from them, whoa, to grow from a seed size to these big size? So these are five and a half months old. Whoa. And these are ready to eat. Wow, that grows so fast from that small. How does it grow so fast? They get a lot of their phytoplankton from the waters here in Moli'i fish pond. Whoa, cool. Phytoplankton, so they suck in the water which has phytoplankton in it? Yeah, they're filter feeders. Whoa. So they're filtering about 50 gallons a day. Whoa, wait a second. So does that mean since they're a filter, it cleans the water while they grow? Yes, and that's how we help to restore the quality of the fish pond. Wow, that is amazing. And are these ready to eat? Yes, these are ready to eat. Whoa, really? We can oh, eat them? Oh no, they're not. We actually skipped a step. Oh, what do you mean? We have to go check out our oyster cleaning station. Oh, they're ready to eat for the size, but we need to clean them. All right, can we go clean them? Yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, cool, I'm so excited. Whoa, what's this for? This is our oyster cleaning tray. Oh, oyster cleaning tray. Ooh, and I definitely know what this is. Yeah, hose. All right, how do you get started? Okay, so first we're gonna unload the oysters into our cleaning tray. Whoa, now this is a lot of oysters. And yeah, I definitely can see how they're a little dirty. All right, what's the next step? So, Blippi, do you mind if yeah. you spray some of these? Sure. We're gonna clean them off of okay. all the debris. Okay, here we go. Whoa, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> all right. Oh, perfect, a little more or is that good? Maybe a little bit more, yeah. Okay, all right. Whoa! <laughs> All right. They definitely look a little cleaner. All right. So now we're going to spread them out so they're evenly distributed on the tray. Okay. So we're going to do it one at a time. Okay. And one, usually we count. <laughs> yes. Two. <laughs> three. <laughs> four. Whoa, you're really fast. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, there's so many of them. Wow. What do you think about when you do this part? I think about how many oysters people are gonna eat. Whoa, yeah, it must be cool to know that you raise these and then people are gonna enjoy them as a meal. Yes, Whoa. that is the most satisfying part of being a farmer. Yeah, okay, there we go. And since we washed our hands earlier and these are all lined up, now are they ready to eat? One more step. We yeah. gotta take them to their oyster cleaning bath. Oh, that sounds like fun. I love baths. Rotate this. Rotate it, okay. Right here? Yes. All right. Whoa, they're really heavy. Wow. Okay, right. we'll place it down in the water. 
Gently. Wow. Check it out. We just set these oysters down in their bath. Yeah, just like how you take a bath, these oysters are gonna get nice and clean. So how does this bath work? So we fill this with fresh filtered seawater and it's gonna be pumped through the system past a UV sterilizer. So we're killing all the pathogenic bacteria. Wow. So this right here is the filter? UV sterilizer. Oh, wow. And then it comes out right here and it falls in the bath. Why does it come out right here? So that allows us to aerate the water so the oysters are nice and happy and can breathe. Oh, so then they can breathe underwater. Whoa, and then they breathe in this clean water and then they get rid of, yes. what do they get rid of? They're expelling all of the waste that they bring in during the filter feeding process. Oh, like what kind of waste? So we're looking at debris like sand, dirt. Oh, so then even the inside, not just the outside, but the inside of the oyster is nice and clean. Whoa, cool. So how long do these oysters hang out in this nice cozy bath for? Yeah, so they've been hanging out in this cozy bath for 48 hours. Oh, and why do you even have them in this bath? So we really want to make sure that you and your family are safe when you're eating shellfish. So this helps to get rid of any harmful bacteria. Oh, all right. So do you have any that have been hanging out for 48 hours so then they're nice and safe for maybe me to try one? I think you're in luck. Really? Yeah, let's go take a seat over here and we'll serve you some fresh oysters. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Whoa, I am so excited to try an oyster. Oh, I bet they're very yummy. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Oh, this looks very yummy. Oh. So here are your fresh Pacific oysters. Wow, there's so many of them. Whoa, check it out. Man, you they look- try one? Yeah, very clean, huh? All right. Okay, how do you open it up? Okay, so we're gonna use a knife and pop the hinge. Okay. Whoa, that looks like a special knife just for this, huh? Yeah, it's designed specially for opening up our nice oysters. Wow, and look, looks like the top right there. Very cool. All right, and what did you do right there? So I just flipped it and presented to you with the fat side up. Oh, yeah, that definitely looks great. <laughs> so enjoy that. I got to get back to work with you. It's a pleasure. All right. Fun hanging out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See ya. Wow. Wasn't that a fun day learning how people farm oysters? I know. All right. Here we go. Mmm. Very yummy and salty too. <laughs> Wow, I'll put this back and I'm going to save all these for later. I'm so excited to eat the rest of them. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy, good job. And I sure did have a lot of fun learning how to farm an oyster with you. Aloha. Bye-bye. <laughs>me blippy and did you see what i was just doing yeah i was jumping Woohoo! <laughs> and look at where i'm at today yeah today i'm at sky zone indoor trampoline park in anaheim california and there's a lot of trampolines in there you know what you do on a trampoline yeah you jump Woohoo! let's go have some fun <laughs> Hey, welcome to Sky Zone. I'm Quincy. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Yeah. How do we get started? So to get started today, we got to pick from a rainbow of wristbands. Whoa, cool. Look how colorful they are. Looks like we have some orange, yellow, blue, red, green, and pink wristbands. Um, can I do a blue wristband, of please? Of course, Blippi. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do that arm. That arm. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> What's next? What's next is you get to pick from any of these socks right here. Whoa, cool. There's so many colorful socks back there. I wonder which ones he's gonna grab. <laughs> I know your favorite color is blue and orange, so I had to get you the very special ones right here. Yeah, all right. We have some blue socks and some orange socks. 
Well, since I have a blue wristband, maybe I'll do some orange socks. Yeah, is that okay? That's a great decision. All right, am I ready? You're all ready. I'm gonna meet you up here in just a minute and we're gonna go have some fun. All right, yeah, let's go. Wow, Quincy, that was awesome! Oh, I appreciate it, Blippi. Whoa, what is this place? Oh, this is our dunk course right here. This is where we get to have all of our fun with the basketball. We get to dunk like we're Kobe and Michael. We get to have fun right here. Cool, that sounds like so much fun. Looks like there's a trampoline, and then there's a basketball hoop, and then you jump and you dunk. Whoa, can you teach us how to do it? Of course I can, so it's real simple. First off, you gotta get a few jumps in, okay. and then you gotta get a lot of air, and then at the very last minute, you're gonna punch it through the rim. All right, let's check this out. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. Yeah, Quincy, do you mind if I try? Go ahead, Blippi. All right, here we go. So I need to jump some, need to get some air, and then I need to dunk. Here I go. Yeah, I made it! Woohoo! That was awesome. It felt like I was just flying in the air. Whoa! All right, what do you do next? Well, Blippi, once you get good with it, you can put a little flair to it, a little flavor. Wow. All right, let's check it out. Ah! Whoa! Did you see that? He spun and then put the ball under his legs and then he dunked. Wow. All right, think you can match? Um, I could probably do a trick, but maybe not that good, but I'll try. All right, here we go. Oh yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, I did it! Cool, looks like a rock wall. That indeed it is, Blippi, that indeed. Wow, what are we gonna do here? Well, we're gonna race each other to the top and hit these red buttons here. Oh, all right, how many times? Uh, I think we're gonna hit them two times today. Two times? Okay, so we have to go up, hit it, down, up, hit it, and then whoever lands first, wins, right? Yes, sir. All right. Have you ever done this before? Uh, it's been a very long time, but uh, I'm excited to do this. All right. Me too. And I think I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's go to our starting marks. Okay. Are you ready? I am. Are you? Yep. On your mark. mark get set. set go. go. Walls are slippery today. Oh. Yeah! Whoa. Wow, good job! Oh man. <laughs> Looks like I won that one, but you were going really fast. So are you, Blippi. Oh, thank you. That was tricky. Do you have any other competitions we can do? Oh, I got plenty for us. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, check it out. I'm jumping on a trampoline. Woohoo! Whoa! I love jumping on trampolines. Yeah, it's a great way to exercise and have fun. <laughs> oh, look. Wow, so many colorful balls. Wow, check it out. Ooh, check out the colors. Looks like we have an orange ball, a red ball, a blue ball, a purple ball, a green ball, and a yellow ball. Ooh, and they're really soft and squishy. Wow, how many balls do you see here? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Wow! Six balls. What kind of balls are these? Wait a second. Soft, squishy balls. Trampolines. Now it looks like we're in an arena. Oh yeah! This is a dodgeball arena. Wow, I love dodgeball. <laughs> oh. I found you. Yeah, yeah, I actually found the dodgeball arena. Oh, that, that you did, that yeah. you did. Have you ever played dodgeball before? I'm a goat at dodgeball. Really? I'm a goat. Wow, well, I'm actually not too bad myself. <laughs> Do you wanna play dodgeball? Let's get into it, Blippi. All right, how you play dodgeball is you take these softballs, throw them at your opponent. <laughs> if you hit them and they don't catch it, you get a point. But if they catch it, you have one point less than what you did. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's set them up. All right, are you ready? I'm ready, you ready? I'm ready too. On your mark, get set, go! Whoa! Wow, you won! You did, did so good! Yeah, you totally beat me! I did? Yeah, you're really good! Wow, do you have any other fun games we can compete together with? I got plenty for you, Blippi. I got plenty. All right, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Whoa, it looks like an obstacle course! It most definitely is, Blippi! Wow, are you good at obstacle courses? I'm pretty good at obstacle courses, are you? Pretty good. Wow, I am pretty fast. How do you do this one? Well, this one starts off really simple. You just bound across these half circles right here, and then you're gonna go all the way to the end, loop back, and finish right back here. Wow, so it's like a race, and I think I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm pretty ready, are you? I'm ready. You should start, okay? I'll start, all yeah, right. I'll start. All right, okay, on your marks, get set, go! Come on, Quincy, you got it! You got it, come on, a little faster. Faster, faster. Whoa, nice swing. Whoa, yeah. He's really fast. Whoa. Woo, 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 woo. Whoa, he's gonna be tough to beat. <laughs> yeah, Quincy, yeah. Wow, that was really fast, good job. Oh, thank you, Blippi. Wow, was it hard? Oh, it was a little hard, but I think you got it. All right, I'm ready. Is it my turn? Yes, sir, it is. All right, you want to start me? I got you. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay, Blippi, I see you. I see you, Mr. Blippi. <laughs> Real strong out there, Blippi. Good work. Come on, Blippi, let's go. Let's go, Blippi. Oh, he's gonna beat me, man. He's gonna, he, he's gonna have me beat. Come on, Blippi, keep it going, man. Oh. Ooh, come on, Blippi. Let's go, Blippi, come on, Blippi. <laughs> yeah! I feel like I did pretty fast. You went pretty fast, Blippi. And? I won! Congratulations, wow. Blippi. Wow, you did so good too, yes, sir. I appreciate it, man. That was a close one. It was really close there at the end. Wow, and thank you so much for competing with me. It was oh. a very friendly competition today. Of course, it's been my pleasure competing with you. It's always good to have somebody that can compete with me. Yeah, well, it's very nice meeting you. It's nice to meet you too, Blippi, but I gotta get back to work now. All right, see you later. See you, man. Bye-bye. Wow, that was so much fun competing with him. He did so good today. Yeah, and the most important thing though was we had fun. <laughs> well, I should probably get some water. I'm very thirsty. It's important to hydrate. <laughs> Whoa, perfect. Yeah, 
Yeah, hydrating after exercise is very important. It's very hot right now, but when I drink this water, it'll help me cool back down. Mmm. <sighs> and it's very tasty. Wow, what a fun day that was. It's very healthy to exercise. And competing was awesome. I love competing, and it's okay to lose. Yeah, I even lost today, remember? Yeah, the cool thing about losing is it just makes you want to get better and better. And when you compete, it'll make you better. Practice makes you better. <laughs> All right, shall we have some more fun? Yeah. <laughs> Jumping and dancing. Hey, if you jump along with me, jump, 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 so very high. Jump, jump, jump into the sky. Jump, jump, jump and clap, clap, clap. Jump, 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 it's so much fun. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. So very Sure was. That place was awesome. Having those big trampolines, being able to jump really high in the air. Yeah. Jumping in the foam pits. Whoa, so soft. And it was really cool how it had my two favorite colors all around in there. Blue and orange. Yeah, good job. Wow. And remember how I took a drink of water? Yeah, it's really important to hydrate when you're doing really active things like that. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, stay active, stay hydrated, and have some fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Did you see what I was just doing? <laughs> I was acting like a dinosaur. Rah, rah. <laughs> That's so silly. Yeah, and today we're at Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History in Santa Barbara, California. And I have a great idea. Why don't you and I go inside and see if we can find some dinosaurs? Yeah, let's go! Wow, I'm having a lot of fun! Whoa! <gasps> Look at this! Prehistoric forest? Wow! Prehistoric? Yeah, that was a really long time ago. And actually, at a point of prehistoric times, there was dinosaurs! I love dinosaurs. Do you love dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah! Did you hear that? Yeah, that was a dinosaur roaring. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, what is this? Wow, looks like a really colorful book. I wonder what's inside. Whoa! <laughs> All right.
right. <gasps> wow, there's a letter, a message. It says, find these five dinosaurs in the prehistoric forest. We're there right now. Whoa. Then choose your favorite dino and color it. Whoa, cool. All right, looks like we have to find these dinosaurs. Whoa, cool. There's three dinosaurs. Ooh, four and five. All right, let's find all five of these dinosaurs and then we'll color one. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> dinosaur just roared! So cool! Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Hmm, it does have plates on its back. Huh, I wonder if it's in this book. All right, is it this dinosaur? No, let's see. Oh, what about this one? Definitely not. Could be this one. Close, but that's not it. Huh, what about that one? No. <gasps> is it this one? Yeah! You can tell by all those plates. Oh, I know what kind of dinosaur this is. It's a stegosaurus. Yeah, I could tell because the plates on its back. Every stegosaurus have at least 17 plates. Yeah, or more. So cool. And they actually are herbivores. That means they eat plants. I like eating plants too. <laughs> yeah, like lettuce or Salad and spinach, yum! So healthy. <laughs> okay, hey, we should probably check this box off so we can keep track of what dinosaurs we find. All right, made a little X right there. Wow, perfect. Whoa, cool. All right, let's keep exploring and see what other dinosaurs we can find. Yeah, <laughs> see ya. Please do not touch or feed the dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, I definitely won't touch or feed the dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out, another dinosaur. Whoa, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Well, it looks like it has some horns. Oh, there's a baby right there. Hello, hey. All right, let's see if we can find the dinosaur in the book. Is it this dinosaur? Oh, yeah! You're right, it is! All right, we need to mark it off right here. Yeah! You know what kind of dinosaur that is? Yeah, it's a Triceratops. Do you know how we know? Yeah, come here, I'll show you. Wow! All right, do you see the horns? Yeah, let's count them together. One, two, Three horns. Yeah, its name is Triceratops. Tri, T-R-I. Tri means three. Yeah, so this is a Triceratops. Wow, good job. <laughs> well, let's keep exploring and see what other kind of dinosaurs we can find. Yeah. Check it out, another dinosaur. Wow, this dinosaur looks so cool. Well, hey, let's see if this dinosaur is in our book. Whoa, hey, dinosaur. <laughs> All right, okay, well, it's not this one. Yeah, because this one's the Triceratops, remember? Yeah. All right, what about one of these two? Is it this one? Definitely not. What about this one? Oh, yeah, it does look like this one. Good job, we found another dinosaur. All right, let's check it off. Put a little X right there. Wow, awesome. <laughs> well, this dinosaur does look really cool, but I don't know the name of this dinosaur. Huh, 
I wonder what kind of dinosaur this is. Oh, hey! Hi! Who are you? I'm Jenna. I'm the director of education. Wow, that's cool. So that means you know a lot about dinosaurs? I do know a lot about dinosaurs. Wow. Well, my friends and I were just trying to think of this dinosaur's name. Do you know its name? I do. This is an Eoplocephalus. Eoplocephalus. That's hard to say. Wow. Do you know any cool facts about this dinosaur? I know a lot of cool facts about this dinosaur. Wow. It's covered in armor from its head all the way down to its tail. Wow. It's got spikes on its back, horns on its head, and even a club tail. Oh, yeah, the club tail. Ooh, and the spikes and the horns. Wow. <laughs> and the really thick armor skin. Why does this dinosaur have all of that? Yeah, this dinosaur has all of those features to protect it from predators. Whoa, that's really cool. Well, thank you so much for teaching us the name of this dinosaur and some fun facts. Is there any other dinosaurs that you could show us? Oh, absolutely. All right, let's go. <laughs> Another dinosaur! Yeah! Whoa, this is a really cool looking dinosaur! Wow. Should we check to see if it's in the book? Let's check. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, well, it's not this dinosaur. We already found that dinosaur. Ooh, is it this dinosaur? No. Okay, we found that one. Let's see. What about this dinosaur? Oh, yeah! It is! Wow, good job! Thanks so much for helping us find this dinosaur. All right, let's check it off. There we go. Wow, that's awesome. Well, what kind of dinosaur is this? This is a Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Wow, that's a hard name to say. And what's that thing on its head? Is that a horn? It's actually not a horn. Oh. It's actually a sinus. A sinus? Like, it connects to the nose? It connects to its nose. Wow, why do they have that? Well, they use it almost like a trombone. They suck in air, and then they blow it out as a really loud, deep sound. Oh, I know what a trombone is. <laughs> cool. Whoa, and look at its mouth. It's really wide. Yeah, it's so it can hold hundreds of teeth. Oh, really? Like, really strong, big, sharp, massive teeth? Well, actually more of a lot of little teeth. <laughs> oh, that's cool. What does it eat with its teeth? It eats lots and lots of plants, a lot of plants. Wow, really? And do they then grow in and then stay there forever? Well, no, they're constantly losing their teeth, kind of like little kids do. And then new teeth grow in and they eat more plants. Wow, that is really cool. Thank you so much for teaching us about these two dinosaurs. <laughs> You're welcome, Blippi. I've got more dinosaur things to do today. All right, <laughs> see you later. Thank you so much. Wow, that was really nice of her. All right, so we found four dinosaurs, but we need to find five dinosaurs. So there must be one more dinosaur around here. <gasps> Another dinosaur. Wow, this dinosaur looks so big and furious. <laughs> All right, let's see if this dinosaur is in our book. All right, it's not that one. <laughs> okay, is it this one? Yeah, it's our last dinosaur. Good job. All right, let's check it off. There we go. Whoa, all right. Hey, do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Yeah, it's a T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. So big and fierce, but cute teeny little arms. Whoa. <laughs> and do you see its teeth? Yeah, they are very big and very sharp. Yeah, and they're actually shaped like a banana. Whoa. Wow. T-Rexes are so cool because their jaws are so strong. They're actually the most strongest jawed dinosaur that we know of. Wow, and actually, what we think now, the juveniles, the teenagers of T-Rexes, actually might have had some feathers. Wow, T-Rexes are so cool. <laughs> All right, now let's go pick a dinosaur and color it in. This is gonna be fun, yeah! <laughs> Yeah. 
Whoa! Wow, wasn't that so much fun learning about those five dinosaurs? Wow, and they were all so big, and it was cool to learn about what they eat. Whoa, and their teeth. <laughs> all right, let's uh, decide which dinosaur we should color. <laughs> all right, let's see, the Triceratops, or one of these two. Huh, let's see. How about, I was supposed to pick my favorite dinosaur out of these five. The T-Rex is pretty cool, but I don't know if I can pick my favorite because they're all so cool. Well, hey, why don't we color the Stegosaurus? So then we can color the plates all different colors. Wow. All right, first let's take the green one. Ooh, here you go, Stegosaurus. Ooh, nice green plate. Ooh, how about red? Whoa, there you go. Whoa, this is gonna be a very colorful Stegosaurus. Yeah, I used orange, one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> Ooh, we'll use my second other favorite color. Yeah, blue. There we go. Whoa, so colorful. Yeah, do you remember what Stegosauruses eat? Yeah, plants, because they're herbivores. Ooh, how about pink? <laughs> There you go, yeah, pink. Ooh, and let's do the last plate as purple. Whoa, look at that. Now that is a colorful Stegosaurus. All right, last but not least, a green scribble, Wee! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, hey, I have an idea. Why don't we take green and draw a plant right here? Yeah, like it's eating. Ooh, there you go, kind of hard to see. <laughs> Wow, what a great Stegosaurus. Very colorful. They didn't look like this back then, but it still looks really cool. Wow, that was so much fun learning about dinosaurs with you. I sure do love dinosaurs. What magnificent creatures they were. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. All right, well, I'm gonna keep this book right here so then the next person that comes here, they can color one of their favorite dinosaurs. Yeah. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. Look at this giant box. <laughs> yeah, today, Mika and I have some exciting things planned, but it was supposed to meet me here by now. Hmm. Huh, I wonder where Mika went. Hmm. <laughs> Did you hear something? It sounded like a doorbell. <laughs> oh, look, there's a doorbell. Hmm, let's try to press it. <laughs> I wonder who's home. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. And this is my best friend, Blippi. <laughs> and we have work to do. We do? Uh-huh. Have you told them what we're doing today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Silly me. I kind of forgot. Yeah, we're using everything in these boxes uh -huh. to build an epic, awesome Ooh, fort. Yes. Ooh. Forts are so cool. <laughs> I think a great fort needs three things. A cool way to get in, an awesome way to get out. Yeah, and something unique to make it special. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, we have to use our creative thinking. How's this floor plan, Blippi? <laughs> you can go through my purple box and get some building ideas. Ooh. Oh, and Mika, you can go through my orange box and get some fun creative ideas too. <laughs> Three, two, one! Whoa! <laughs> PVC pipe. Oh, Ooh, that'll be a fun plastic pipe where we can maybe da, hang da, da, da. something <laughs> or use it as a trumpet. And whoa, we can use a this cape. as oh, a superhero cape. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or super blippy. Maybe just the roof. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we better get started building this fort. Let's do it! Woohoo! <laughs> 
working on the door right here, but there's nothing to attach the door to. Whoa! <laughs> so we can build a very fun door frame by stacking up these blocks. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! One door frame post. <laughs> now you just need the other side. And we have finished the other side. We'll just put it right there whoop, <laughs> and attach the door. You see? I put some string and some cardboard here with tape so it can swing open on a hinge. <laughs> Check it out, we did it! Woohoo! Look at the door! The front door to our fort! Hey, Mika, I finished the door. <gasps> hey, Blippi, it looks great. Ha, huh, thanks. Oh, and Mika, did you know that the world's largest doors are at the Kennedy Space Center? Yeah, they're 456 feet tall or 138 meters. <laughs> Whoa, that's taller than the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, I'll see you inside. Okay, I have a surprise for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Mika, a ball pit? Yes, I made a ball pit for us to splash around in in our fort. Whoa, that sounds like fun. <laughs> I made it out of some plastic pipes, Whoa. and I put a sheet over it just like this. Whoa, it's looking really great, Mika. You did a good job. Oh, thank you, friend. Whoa. And I have some clips in my jam pack. Clip that together. Clip this over here. <laughs> and then we oh. take some pillows for some nice cushions. Whoa, it's looking really great and nice and soft so you don't bump your head. <laughs> Would you like to help me with the finishing touches, Blippi? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Okay, let's put this last bag of balls in there. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> ball pit balls! Ball pit okay, balls! Here we go! Zip, zip, zip! Zip! zip -a -ree. Whoa, whoa, here we go! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> whoa! Okay, whoa. one last thing to do. Mm, what's that? Jump it! Well, we've done a really good job making our fort. <laughs> we did, oh. it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And it has two of the three things great forts have. Mm -hmm. A cool entrance, that's the door. <laughs> yeah, and something unique, the ball pit. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we just need a really fun exit. Oh, I have a great idea. Oh. Wait right here, Blippi. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs> I wonder what Mika's idea is. Hmm. Whoa. Look, I found this in the backyard. Whoa, a ladder? Yes, some um, stairs for a slide. Whoa, a slide? That would be such a good idea for an exit. Well, well we have the stairs and, and the slide, mm -hmm. and we have some tools to put it all together. Oh, okay, well, let's put it together maybe over there. Okay. Here we go. Whew. Great idea. Time to build. Here you go, <laughs> hammer for you and a hammer for me. Wow, it's looking really great, Mika. Yep. Now we just need to adjust it so it's the exit. Great. Wow, Whoa. that's awesome. Mm. And I think there's only one last thing to do now. Slide? Slide. You can go first. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Okay, 
Here we go! Time to fly! <laughs> Yay! Woo! Great job, friend. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Whoa, Mika, that was awesome! That was Whoa. so much fun! We did it! We made our fort so, so <laughs> awesome! And we got all the parts finished. <laughs> Whoa, the only thing left is to dance now. Okay! Dance party! Woo! Now that we built our fort, what should we do? Oh, I know. Let's play some fort games. Whoa, I love <laughs> playing games. Do you think we should play a fort game together? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so what should we play? Uh, oh, how about we play hot and cold? Oh, I like that game. Is that where <laughs> someone hides a dinosaur uh -huh. <laughs> and the other person tries to find it and they get hints that are either hot or cold uh -huh. if they're close or far away. That's exactly <laughs> it, Blippi. <laughs> that sounds like a fun game. Well, who should go first? How about I hide the dinosaur first and you can find him? Okay, okay. I'm gonna go <laughs> out there so you can hide it and then tell me when you're done. Okay, Blippi. <laughs> See you later. Here we go. <laughs> okay, where should we put the dinosaur? Okay, Blippi! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay! Well, now we have to find the dinosaur. Okay, I'll look, see where it might be. Hmm. You're cold! Just like Antarctica! <laughs> okay, over here. You're still pretty cold. <laughs> Maybe it's over here. Oh, but you're getting warmer. Don't see it over here either. But you're getting kind of hot. Whoa. Hot like a volcano. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Look, I found it! It's our dinosaur! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mika. Well, now how about I hide the dinosaur and you go outside so okay. that I can hide it? Okay, friends! Okay, I'll see you soon! <laughs> Whoa, I wonder where we should hide this. Mika was really good at hiding you. Hmm. No, just the place. <laughs> okay, Mika, I'm all done. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if Mika can find the dinosaur. Where'd that dinosaur go? <laughs> okay, you're getting cold, <sighs> like a cold frozen smoothie. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yep, you're still <gasps> cold like Ooh. ice. Still cold. <laughs> you are as cold as an ice cube. Cold. As cold as <gasps> a giant, giant refrigerator freezer. Whoa, you're getting you warmer. It? You're getting really warm. Hmm, maybe like a warm, toasty panini. <gasps> oh, <gasps> yum. Whoa, you're getting hot like a bowl of soup. Oh. Or hot like, <gasps> like lava. lava. Or hot like <gasps> the sun. Or a star. Is the dinosaur in here? <laughs> You're getting really, really hot, but you gotta keep looking. <laughs> okay. Whoa, I think we did a good job. <laughs> you did a really great okay, job. Okay, cold, warmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo, you got it. This calls for a 10 second dance party. Dance party. Woo, we did it. We did Woo. it. We never, ever quit it. Whoa. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mika, that was fun. Well, is there another game you think we can play together? Ooh, let's build an obstacle course. Well, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. An obstacle course is where you put up different objects. Obstacles. Yeah, obstacles. <laughs> things you might have to climb over or climb under or roll around. Oh, <laughs> and we can time each other. Maybe, Mika, you can grab some blocks. Here. This is gonna be one fun obstacle course. Okay. Whoa! Okay, so here's how it goes. First, you need to walk over the pillow path. Then, roll over this big red tunnel. bumpy block. Yeah, and it's a tunnel, so then go under it, through the couch maze, into the ball pit, uh -huh. and... Down the slide! <laughs> yeah! 
Okay. okay. I'm ready to time you, Mika. Are okay. you ready? Yep. Set. Go! Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Mika! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was fun! Whoa! Whoa! Pop it! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Keep going, Mika! You're so close to the finish line! Whoa! Whoa! Mika, you did it! Whoa, you were really fast at that obstacle course. Thanks, man. But I think it's my turn now. Okay. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> it was stuck on my hand. <laughs> All right, let me reset the watch. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. Okay, here. Over the over pillow the bridge. Over the bridge. Whoa. Whoa. You look like a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> break from obstacle courses. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but we had so much fun and we built this amazing fort. Yes. Mika, you have such creative ideas. Oh, thank you, Blippi. <laughs> so do you. And I loved learning that the biggest doors are at the Kennedy Space what? Center. And they're bigger than the Statue of Liberty. Whoa, that's really big. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with us? Okay, here we go. Ready? B L I P P I. Blippi. <laughs> Good job. Can you spell my name with us? Great. M E E K A H. Mika. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. bye Woo Whee! Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at Dogwood Canyon Nature Park in Lampy, Missouri. <laughs> yeah, here you can go trout fishing. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun to see fish, catch fish, and release them safely back into the water. So they keep on swimming and having fun. <laughs> Let's go find a creek and some fishies. Woo! Whoa, we did it. We found a creek. <laughs> You see any fish in the water? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I see a leaf and see some bugs. Ooh, and some plants. Hmm. But don't see any fish. <laughs> well, I think if we keep looking, keep your eyes open and we're sure to find a fish. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. It's so beautiful here. You see the waterfall? Whoa, <laughs> yeah, it's a small waterfall in the creek. I bet there are some fish down there. Keep your eyes open. Maybe we'll see a really big fish <laughs> or maybe a teeny tiny fish. <laughs> I don't know, let's look. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a waterfall. Oh, I bet some really big, beautiful fish live by this waterfall. <laughs> oh, let's go see. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, rainbow trout. Whoa, you see how big those rainbow trout are? Yeah, these are some really big fish. Yeah, rainbow trout can be up to 30 pounds. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, that's really big. Oh, and do you know why rainbow trout are called rainbow trout? Hmm, <laughs> look closely. They're so colorful, see? <laughs> There's blue on that one and some red on that one. Ooh, I think I see some green on that other one. <laughs> oh, and yellow too. <laughs> yeah, they're so colorful. Hmm, I like to be colorful too. <laughs> oh, and that reminds me. Rainbow trout love cold water. 
Well, that makes sense why they like being next to the cool water here in the creek and by the waterfall. <laughs> I like the cold, but I need a jacket. <laughs> oh, look at them swim. Whoa, <laughs> hello fish, hello fishies. <laughs> well, yeah, they're going really fast. Rainbow trout are the fastest freshwater fish. Oh, they love swimming around and jumping. They can even jump four feet in the air. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. I like to go fast and jump, and I do like to be colorful. Ooh, hey, how about let's act like the rainbow trout? Woohoo! Okay, stand up with me and go really fast and jump and move like the fish. Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Me and the fish! Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun being a rainbow trout, but you know what else would be really fun? Yeah, going fishing and catching a fish. <laughs> hey, that would be fun, but I think I need a little help. Hmm, bet we can find someone to teach us. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like there's some more fish over here. Ooh, maybe this would be a really good place to go fishing. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Look, I see someone. <laughs> I bet they can help teach us how to fish. <laughs> Let's go say hi. Oh, hi there. I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Jim. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Jim. <laughs> well, we've been admiring all the beautiful fish and I was hoping to go fishing today. Do you think you could teach me how? I think so. <laughs> okay, great. Well, what's the first thing to be a fisherman? Well, actually, you need some equipment. Oh, um, okay. I just happen to have some here. Whoa. Oh, this what's is, that? This is called a this is called a fishing vest. Whoa! Oh, thank you. And it goes on. And they have a little pocket so you can put your your tackle in there. Oh, check it out! My very own fishing vest. <laughs> well, now I really feel like a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a fisherman. <laughs> well, what other equipment will we need? Well, we need a fishing pole. Oh, okay. Whoa! And I like this fishing pole because look, it's orange. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, and this is called a spinning reel. Oh, check it out. Yeah. You see this? A spinning reel right there. Whoa. And is this the fishing line? Yeah, that's a fishing line. And it's oh. really almost clear so that doesn't the fish can't see it. Whoa, that's so, so cool. So we can fool them. And this, is, <laughs> and this is called the lure. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, that lure. Whoa, that looks so cool. And I bet when this is in the water, it looks pretty sparkly. <laughs> it does. It, the little spinner goes around and around and it flashes in the sun. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and it makes little vibrations in the water, little noises that Whoa. the fish can hear. Yeah, and I bet they like that a lot. Yeah, they come swimming over. They <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, they do like it. And is this where you hold the fishing rod? Yeah, you hold it with one of your fingers through there. Okay. And then one finger up here that can grab the line. Okay. Just roll that over and then you Push it forward, and when you go forward, you release your release the finger, and it okay. lets the line come off the reel. Oh, well, that sounds easy you think enough. You can do that. I think so, but I also saw this. <laughs> it's a net. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, uh oh. <laughs> well, I think this is for the fish, right? Well, yes, actually. <laughs> It's so that we can get them out of the water. That's kind of far down there to get them out of the water. And yeah, sometimes you, you can't just lift them out because they might break the line. Oh yeah, and you don't want to fall in either. <laughs> so you use the net to scoop them up in the water and then you can get them out and take the hook out. Well, maybe you could show me how to cast the line and I can hold the net and help net it out of the water. <laughs> oh, sure, I would like that. Okay, here, I'll hold the net and let's see if we can catch a fish. <laughs> All right, are okay. you ready? Yeah, I'll stand over here. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Gonna grab the line, gonna cast. Whoa, look at it Whoa. go. Whoa, it's spinning through the water. Whoa, looks like the fish are liking it. Whoa. We got one. Whoa. That look was so go. fast. Oh, Whoa. it came unhooked. Oh, well, that was close. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Oh. <laughs> we got one. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can catch him in my net. Boy, look at him splashing and jumping. Whoa! Yes. Here we go. There you go. Good job. Oh, look! Oh, we caught a fish! Oh, here we go. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. It looks like it's a rainbow trout. Yeah, here, I'll let you take it. You want take... me to take the hook out? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, rainbow trout are really, really colorful fish. Yes. They're all different colors. Okay, like we got the hook red out. Red and green. 
Okay. Whoa. Let me get my hands wet. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, we want our hands wet if we're gonna touch a fish. <laughs> there we whoa, go. Oh, look at him. Yeah, look. It's the fish's tail and whoa, what are those right here? That's called his gill plate. Wow. And it's a male. Whoa, it's so colorful. See? The See red that? gill plate. They get like that in the fall when they're spawning. The males get really colorful. Whoa. <laughs> and look, it has a lot of spots. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get this guy back in the water though. Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoa, dance a fish. <laughs> get him okay. back in the net. Yeah, there we, we go. Better put him back in the water. Okay. Whoa. Here you go. Just watch him swim away here. Oh, here you go. Oh. There he's doing better. Whoa, look Come at on. him go. Aw. <laughs> bye bye, little fish. <laughs> Yeah, those rainbow trout, they really like swimming through the water, and it's important for them to be sent back into the water so that they can breathe through their gills. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, little fishy. <laughs> well, you are really good at catching fish with your fishing rod. <laughs> well, I bet you can do it. Well, you think I could try? Sure. Okay, maybe I'll try this time, and do you think you could help me yes. net it? <laughs> okay, here we go. So, the first things first, we have to hold it like this. See? Ooh. Is that right, Jim? That's perfect. Oh, and then we want to put our finger on the line and flip this little, hmm, what yeah, do you call that? The bail. The bail? The bail? Whoa, yeah. See the bail? Oh, that silver part. And then, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> we want go. to cast the line. Here we go. Ready? Oh, good cast. Whoa, Whoa. that was really far. <laughs> okay, we put the bail down and we start to slowly bring it back. Okay, and now we want the spinner to spin. And this time I'm gonna hold it oh, up. Oh, you got him. Whoa, whoa. There you go. Here we go. All Reel right. him in, reel him in. Whoa. Boy, he's fighting. Here we go. Oh, he's coming. You got him. Oh, yeah, we got him. Whoa, here, I'll hold the net. <laughs> You could help take out the hook. Okay. Whoa, I caught my very own fish. You did it, Whoa. you did it. Yeah, it's really fun catching the fish and it's really nice too to release them back into the water so they can keep being really swimmy and going really fast. Whoa, that one's so shiny, look. Oh, yeah, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a female. You notice he's not as red as the other one. Oh yeah, he's kind of yeah. white colored on the yeah, belly. Yeah, kind of white on the belly. Whoa, well, we better put him back. <laughs> bye bye little fish. <laughs> oh, Jim, I see there's a little waterfall over there. Oh, where does all the water come from? <laughs> well, we have springs in this park. The water comes right up out of the ground. Whoa. And, and bubbles up, and it's nice and cold. Whoa, so I bet the fish love it. <laughs> that's what creates the whole creek, is the springs. Wow, that's amazing. And rainbow trout love cold water, so <laughs> that's why they're here. <laughs> well, Jim, I also noticed you had some other fishing rods. Yeah. Right over here. Ooh. There's one, and whoa, two. Yeah. What kind of fishing rods are these? Well, these are called fly rods. Oh, fly rods. And because <laughs> they call the lures flies, okay. and flies are very small, so this is a special rod designed to throw little tiny flies like this. Oh yeah, look, there's a lure right here. Yep. See, it's a teeny tiny little lure, <laughs> just like a little fly buzzing around. <laughs> whoa. And it looks a little different, right? The, this part right here. The fly reel, that's the reel that holds the line. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. a little different from that other rod. Yeah, <laughs> and the line's different too. It's bright, bright green and it's big, really Whoa. fat. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a little heavier too. Well, do you think you could show me how to use a fly rod? Sure. Well, first you just unhook it like you did. Okay. And get it unwrapped, there you right go. Right on like that. So, there Whoa. you go. <laughs> Got a little bit wrapped up. Yeah. <laughs> It happens. Yeah. Okay. Now, once you get it up like that, you lay, throw the line out in the water a little bit. Okay. Just like that. Okay, here, let and, me unwrap it a bit. Yeah, I can help you well, that. Well, thanks, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now, let some line out. Okay. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> there, once you have some line out, you Bring the rod back and you stop it right about here. Okay. And then you roll it back forward like this until the fly goes right in the water like that. Oh, okay. There you go. Here, yep. let's see if we can try. Give and it then a try. Once it goes down, I just reel it back in. You, well, you watch that float and see if it goes under, if the fish take it. 
and grab it, it'll go it'll go down and then you then you pull the fish in. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we'll go up and then down. Yep. Oh. That's it. Whoa! That was a little tricky. <laughs> nope. I'll try again. Do it, try again. Here we go. I'll go up. Yep. There it is. Now just let it sit. Now watch that float. And if you see it go down, that's when you that's when you jerk the fish in. Go, go, go! Whoa, here we go! Pull it up hard, pull it up hard. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> he, he got, got away! He got away! <laughs> okay. Try well, it again. Definitely takes a lot of patience doing fishing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. See if you can do that cast again. Okay, here we go. We'll go up and over. Okay. That's it. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa look at that big one. thing. Whoa! My goodness, that's a big one. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> Whoa, this is a really big one. <laughs> I think I better stick with the net. <laughs> Whoa, here we go! Here we go! Whoa, look! Jim's reeling him in! I'm gonna pick up the fish with my net so we can see him. Whoa! This fish is enormous! It's gigantic! It's huge! <laughs> look! Whoa! Here you go! Wow, Come I'm gonna on. need a good net, man. Whoa, yeah. Oh, look, he's tangled up in the line. He's coming in, though. You ready? Here you go. Hey, little fish. You got him. Whoa. <laughs> oh, he's heavy. Whoa, he's so heavy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. Whoa. Wow. Jim, how big is this fish? This fish is about four pounds or Whoa. more. Whoa. Four pound yeah, fish. Yeah, about That's 23 inches. Whoa. 23 wow. inches. Look at him. Whoa, look at the size of this fish. Hi, little guy. <laughs> well, thanks for coming up here with us. <laughs> Whoa, look better at that. send it back to the water. <laughs> yeah, we better get him back in there. Here we go. There you go. Back into the net. He's going to do it. There and back to the water you go. Ooh, there you go. Just let him breathe a little bit. <laughs> and once he here starts, goes. starts kicking around, we'll let him go back. Yeah. Just like that. There you go. Perfect. There you go, little fishy. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> Whoa. Good job. That, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was the biggest fish ever. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me about fly fishing and using a fishing rod. <laughs> I feel like a real fisherman. Well, I guess what? I have a surprise for you. A surprise for me? Yeah. Whoa. I got this little rod for you to practice with. Whoa, check it out. It's for me, my very own fishing practice rod. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It's flippy, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, it's orange and blue. And this is probably a very good rod to practice with because it's safe. It has a bow tie instead of a hook. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jim. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. I'll see ya. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. I had so much fun finding a creek with some rainbow trout. Yeah, meeting Jim and learning how to fish and fly fish and getting my very own Flippy Kid Casters fishing rod. <laughs> well, this isn't a real fishing rod, but it's great for practice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think fish like to eat bow ties. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready for some more practice. I wonder if we'll catch something. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, looks like we caught something. I think it's, I think it's a boot. <laughs> well, let's try again. See if we catch a fish. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. It's, it's a potato. <laughs> That's pretty silly. But I think this time we're definitely going to catch a fish. Here we go. And whoo, <laughs> let's see. <gasps> it's a fish! Yeah! A silly fish! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Flippy, good job! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna keep practicing. Ooh, here we go. Wait a minute, I think we got another one. Whoa! Hey, it's me, Flippy. 
And today, we're here at the Children's Museum at La Habra in La Habra, California. <laughs> and I am so excited because you and I get to learn about so many different things. And maybe we can even see some awesome vehicles. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be so much fun. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun driving so fast in a car. <laughs> mm. Uh oh, it looks like this car is out of fuel. Mm. Oh, <laughs> good thing we're here at a fuel station. We can recharge it with plenty of fuel. <laughs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> hey, and did you know that different cars sometimes use different kinds of fuel? It looks like we could fill this car up with gasoline, hydrogen, electricity, or biofuel. Hmm. <laughs> this car is an electric car, so we need to fill it up <laughs> with some electricity. Time to recharge. <laughs> Looks like the car is recharged and ready to drive really fast. <laughs> it's always important to make sure a car is all fueled up. Hey, it's also important that you stay fueled up with food fuel. <laughs> hmm, that gives me an idea. Let's drive this car to a garden and find some food. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa. Look at this place. It's an amazing garden. Yeah, it has plants, different kinds of fruits and vegetables that we can eat so we stay nice and fueled. <laughs> well, before we start harvesting, we need a basket. Hmm. <laughs> oh, check it out. It looks like this garden has all kinds of vegetables. <laughs> oh, I love vegetables because they're so healthy and huh, looks like these vegetables, they're not any kind of vegetables. They're all called root vegetables. <laughs> yeah, that's because they're roots. <laughs> A root vegetable grows under the dirt. <laughs> well, time, we need to pick them. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, check it out. It's a potato. <laughs> Potatoes are so tasty. <laughs> and it looks like we can pick a couple of them. One potato. Two potato. <laughs> three potato. <laughs> four potato. <laughs> Whoa. Can't wait to eat these later. We can make potato chips or french fries or mashed potatoes and gravy. <gasps> Making me hungry already. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a beet. Whoa, have you ever eaten a beet before? <laughs> They're pretty tasty. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> this beet was really stuck in that soil. <laughs> yeah, look, it's also the color red. Ooh, <laughs> we'll save this one for later. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and look at these vegetables. <laughs> it's a carrot. And it looks like this carrot is having a bad hair day. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, carrots are so tasty and really healthy for you. Makes me feel like I'm a rabbit. <laughs> Doing the rat dance. <laughs> well, we better get back to harvesting. <laughs> Ooh, one carrot, two carrots, three carrots, four carrots, five carrots, six carrots, seven carrots, eight carrots. Nine carrots, 10 carrots, <laughs> whoa. Ooh. Harvesting root vegetables can be a lot of work, <laughs> but 
Once you eat them, it'll be so tasty. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. <sighs> it smells so beautiful here because we're here in an orchard. <laughs> yeah, an orchard is a place where trees grow that have fruit on them. And it looks like these are orange trees. Ooh. <laughs> I think we should pick some because they're so sweet and tangy and citrusy. And orange is one of my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> one orange, oh. <laughs> two oranges, oh. <laughs> three oranges, oh. <laughs> Four oranges, five oranges, and six oranges. <laughs> Whoa, maybe we can eat these oranges later or make some tasty orange juice for breakfast. <laughs> well, it's a lot of work harvesting root vegetables and picking oranges. Maybe instead of harvesting, you and I can do some planting. Yeah, we plant the plants so they grow up nice and strong. Whoa, and look, there's some empty soil. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like everything we need for a garden is right here. We have soil, ooh, plants, <laughs> and it looks like there's some holes to put the plants in. You plant all the plants with me? <laughs> Great, okay, count along. One, two, Three, four, whoa, <laughs> five, six, <laughs> pokey, <laughs> seven. <laughs> whoa, we planted all the plants, but hmm, I think we forgot something. Water, <laughs> yeah, plants, they need fuel too. Cars need fuel, you and I need fuel, and plants need fuel too. <laughs> but plants, they need soil and water. Whoa, and I think they have just the thing. It's called a drip line. Yeah, look, see this squiggly line? Whoa, yeah, that's where the water comes out. Here we go, water time! <laughs> Whoa, look, yeah. The water travels through the tube, watering all the plants to the roots. So it doesn't waste any water. <laughs> well, this was really fun hanging out at the garden, but eh, it looks like we spent enough time here and it's time to go explore. <laughs> we better get back to the car, come on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> We're here on the bus. First, we need to make sure we pay the fare. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, look, there are so many places to sit. Maybe here, <laughs> or here, <laughs> or maybe here. Whoa, <laughs> maybe we can stand up. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> riding a bus is really fun. <laughs> Whoa, but sometimes it can get bumpy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Maybe we should stay seated. <laughs> whoa, check it out. There are so many cool things you can look at when you're riding the bus. <laughs> nice, you can sit back and relax because the bus driver is driving exactly where you need to go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, it's so fun for riding the bus through a really big city. <laughs> and now we're in the countryside. <laughs> Whoa, I see some cows. Hello, cows. Moo. Moo. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like we're almost at our stop. Yeah, when you're ready to get off the bus, 
You just need to let the bus driver know to stop the bus. <laughs> and I can do that by pulling this. <laughs> okay, it's time to get off. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check it out. It's a real live train. Whoa. <laughs> and it's the color red and white. <laughs> but this train car isn't any train car. It's a 1942 Southern Pacific caboose. <laughs> it's really old. 1942. Whoa. <laughs> 80 years old. This train car is where passengers would ride. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and it looks like someone packed me all my luggage. <laughs> Time to get on the caboose. Come on. Now that we put our luggage down, we can explore the train. <laughs> Whoa, it really feels like it's 1942. Oh, huh. and look at this. It's an ice box. Yeah, before we had a refrigerator, we had ice boxes. Yeah, <laughs> let's look inside. Whoa, look, yeah. It's kind of like a refrigerator, except you would have to cut ice and put it in here and it would keep your food and your drinks nice and cold. <laughs> Maybe a little too cold. <laughs> we'll keep that closed. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this room. It's so tall. <laughs> so tall that they have a ladder to climb up to your seat. You would climb up and sit in your seat so you could see a beautiful view on your long journey in 1942. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. There's some bread and lemons and eggs. Hmm. Whoa, <laughs> that makes sense because there's a stove. If you are on a long journey, you need to make breakfast. <laughs> Ooh. Mmm, yum. <laughs> Whoa, check out this stove. It's really old. Yeah has coal in it. They would burn the coal, it would heat the stove top, so you could make some yummy food, like eggs. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, and look, there's even a desk. Hmm, I wonder what's inside this box. Should I open it? <laughs> okay, here we go. No way! It's an actual typewriter! Yeah! Before you had a computer, you could use a typewriter to send a letter. Yeah, well, you would use the typewriter to type up the letter and then send it in the mail. <laughs> hmm, maybe we can write a letter. But who should we write it to? I know, my best friend Mika. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dear Mika, I'm on a long journey and it's 1942. I just made breakfast burning coal. Hmm, it's very, very exhausting being in 1942, but I hope you're having a really fun day. Your best friend, Flippy. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I hope she likes her letter. <sighs> but it is pretty tiring being in 1942. Whoa, good thing there's a bed. <laughs> Wow, a bed for a wonderful nap. <laughs> okay, <sighs> I'll see you soon. <sighs> Sleepy time. <laughs> that was awesome. I had so much fun with you here at the Children's Museum at La Habra. We got to drive a car, a bus, and be the conductor of a train. Choo-choo! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, butterfly. Come on everyone, let's
Let's make the 